The youth that we see who come through here looking for homeless services, who are maybe just out of high school, who don't have a lot of life skills, who aren't sure how to navigate or even advocate for themselves. If they're homeless, it means that they have lost every person who is willing to help them, uh, all their belongings usually, in any place that they could have stayed. And kids get kicked out of the home because their parents don't agree with their identity. The LGBTQ youth are disproportionately represented in homeless youth, and youth of color are disproportionately represented because of, of various struggles. But for the LGBTQ youth, it's about being accepted, and if their families don't accept them and they're an adult, they can put them out. When people are, are at their most vulnerable and have nothing left, we make sure that they are the most prioritized person for us and that no matter who you are, no matter what age or gender or race or ethnicity, uh, no matter what kind of situation you're going through in a housing crisis, you can walk in and talk to somebody that day. So just a few weeks ago, we had a client come in who she was she was either 18 or 19, I don't quite remember, but she was pregnant and she lost where she was living and then she then stayed at a bus station for several nights, slept outside a couple nights, didn't know if some resources that were available and she didn't have a phone so she couldn't call for services. And so youth turn to, to selling themselves, to selling drugs in order to find a place to stay. So what we know is that there are homeless youth out there who aren't presenting. It's, it's an invisible homelessness because they're staying on someone's couch, but what are they doing to stay on that person's couch? What's different about this hub that uh, makes it unique from other homeless services is the voice of the youth. They have input every step of the way. They're helping design it. They're providing their feedback and they're bringing in new voices because they have a network amongst themselves. If you're homeless and you have nowhere to stay, especially in a city, it, it can be unsafe at night uh, due to the temperature, due to other people. If you have medical needs, if you have mental health needs, uh, there's a lot of reasons why physically somebody needs a safe place to be. The youth that I've talked to are looking for a place where they can come as they are. That's the, the whole gist of it, is that they want to be able to come as they are and be comfortable, be safe.